got up right. and daddy was just chasing after you. Dad, what happened? I broke my collarbone. Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back. We're so excited that you're hanging out with us today on this beautiful Saturday. I am here to tell you firsthand, firsthand, I went and experienced this this morning. It is hot outside. <laughs> so hot. So good though. I decided to go for a run this morning. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be alive right now because I'm telling you, I almost died today. So hot. Dripping. I couldn't see out of my eyes. My sweat was dripping into my eyelashes. It's a warm one out there and thankfully I have a lot of things to get done inside. The boys and Hazy have actually been super awesome helping me doing a few things around the house while I went outside. Did you guys practice your piano? I did a little bit. So we need to do a little bit more. Did you practice piano? Mm -hmm. Ooh, let's get that piano practice in. Trying hard, so easy to slip and fall behind. I need to practice and I probably need your guys' help. Got a few things to go get done today. Brexton's getting his new glasses today. He's so excited. He broke his, he's wearing his backup pair right now. We ordered new ones that are a totally different look. Yesterday when we were at Splash Summit for Brandon's birthday, if you haven't watched yesterday's video, you guys should watch it. We celebrated Brandon in a big way. At the end of the day, he's like, mom, my eyes hurt so bad. And I think the feeling that if you don't wear glasses and you put on someone else's glasses and your eyes are strained, that's how he feels every day without wearing his glasses. I don't know what you do with the water situation and glasses. Figuring it out, but he gets to get his new glasses today. We're gonna pick up a few things for the 4th, which is tomorrow. This video will go out after the 4th of July. So happy 4th, everyone. So grateful for this amazing country we live in. Great start to this day, getting ready and prepped for the 4th tomorrow. Let's make today an awesome day. And look at your cute 4th of July outfit. Also, do you wanna show a everyone how great you are at whistling because lately you won't stop whistling. She does it all the time, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna head out. I've got on my little 4th of July shirt and I have these random shoes I got years ago. They're actually little boys, Converse, maybe men's or something. I'm 4th of july out. Daisy's 4th of july out. Rex went and changed his shirt to have a 4th of July shirt because he wants to match us. We're gonna head out right now and go to the party store and go get Brexton's new glasses. Let's go. How old are you gonna be? I'm gonna be six. You're gonna be six. So what kind of candle do you want? They have pink this ones, they have gold ones, candle, silver, sparklies. Uh, Those sparkly ones, they have rainbow ones, they have big ones, they have stars. Man, there's so many different ones. kinds. I know, those are fun, huh? Six right there. You want that sparkly yeah. pink? So do you like this one better or this one? This one, it's way bigger. It is big. Should we buy both? We might use both. Yeah. Daisy decided for her plates and everything for her party she wants pink, but here's the thing. There's bright pink, medium pink, and baby pink. Two different colors of baby pink. Which one do you want? There's really light, kinda light, medium pink, and then bright pink. These pinks are cute. You like that pink? Yeah. That's a good one. Okay, grab one of those. We need plates and napkins. Those are big napkins. Should we maybe do the littler one? Yeah. Good girl, Hazy. Yeah, those are perfect. Oh, dang it. Okay, maybe these are plates over here. We're gonna have lunch at your party. The smaller ones. Um, yeah, you can grab some of these for dessert in case we do cake, but we might just do popsicles. And then you need plates to serve lunch on. Probably need those plates to serve lunch on. We're gonna have pizza party too, huh? Okay, is that good? Do we get a tablecloth? Yeah. Do you wanna do a brighter pink or a white tablecloth? Or what color tablecloth do you wanna do? Help me. Uh, so there's a really dark pink right there. Here's a light pink, and then thinking of contrasting another color, adding in a different color. What are you thinking? <gasps> My other favorite color is blue. Oh, blue. Yeah. Oh, okay. We can do blue. A light blue. Light a blue. Teal blue. Okay. So do you want to do that kind of tablecloth? Yeah. That's is kind of good. You kind of like that one? It doesn't really come through in the video, but it's kind of like a greenish bluish. It's like a teal. Yeah, it's a really I love color. this one. Yeah. That one's perfect. So if we have a teal tablecloth, okay, let's plan this out. Okay, we're going to plan this out. Picture your table, okay? So we're going to have the teal tablecloth, the pink plate. We're going to have a pink napkin. I feel like you need one more element of teal. Do you want to do a teal cup? Yeah. Okay, let's put those up there. See, you can't see it, huh? Because that's kind of high. I'll show you. Hey, that's good. Can you see? Yeah. Teal plate. Okay, Yay! I love this. It looks like cotton candy. It kind of does look like cotton candy. Daddy will love it. Okay, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> I think we have everything, right, Hazy? Yeah. She chose this rose gold six balloon for her birthday. And then we found this really fun balloon and we're gonna make a balloon order today. So we've yeah. got all those. We've got a cute banner and all of our table stuff. She found this cute crown for her birthday. I think we're ready. Let's yeah. go check out and then we'll go get Rexy's glasses. Oh my God, go that first are really hard to bite because- They're old. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready for new glasses? Uh -huh. These ones are a totally different look. Let me get a good look at these ones. Those ones look real good. Here's the new ones. Take off your hat and your glasses so we can see. See them. Oh, I love them. Do you love them? 
Jeff looks so good on you. Behind your ears real quick. I'm so grateful you guys do that. Do the test. Are they good? Not too tight. Might loosen it up a little bit. Let me see the side real quick. Turn. Yeah, maybe just a tiny Maybe a little looser. Just to make sure. How are you feeling about the glasses now that we've been walking around for a few minutes? Good. He loves them. And they're really cool because they're blue on the bottom and black on the top. Mm -hmm. They look so cool. And then okay. some cool stuff right there. Let's see. Yeah. Dude, they're so good looking. Okay, so we're just grabbing a few things we need. Some drinks, some fruit. Hazy's being my helper. And we picked out some cereal. Do you want to grab one more cereal, bud? Uh, yeah. Go grab one. Cinnamon All right, Brexy Doodle. We just got home. I want Dad to see your glasses. Should we see what he thinks? Mm -hmm. Cover your eyes. Look oh. at Brexy. Where's Brexy? Brexy Doodle. Dude, I love him. Oh my gosh, it's like a whole new face for this kid. I know. Dude, I love him. I like how deep they go. Like I feel like you'd be able They're to see round. your That's books better strange. or something. Reading, like looking through the bottom. They are like. I mean, I know it's kind of subtle, but it's like a new Brex. I like this. I mean, I've loved every version of Brex, but I love this Brex. So they told us while we were there. Mm -hmm. That we can make him, that he can get swimming goggles made. That's so what I think we were I'm wondering yesterday. Order them for Turks and Kinkos. They gave me his prescription. If we can honestly get those in time for Turks, that would be huge because yesterday at the water park, maybe you already said this, but he had to go the entire day without I know, glasses. His eyes hurt. And his eyes are starting to hurt, and he said he thinks it's because he doesn't like having his glasses off that long. And we're like, well, if only they had prescription eyewear for in the water. They do. And you're going to want that for sure in Turks, bro, because we're going to be in the ocean, snorkeling, swimming, all kinds of things. Have his prescription in his goggles. Thrilled right now. He's happy. It's hot out, guys. I know. It's so hot. Okay, Dad, I have to run to Walmart and get a few things. I'm going to leave you here. The errands continue for Mom. We're birthday know. Oh, prep. Crap. We're shopping. We're for First, the July prep. I've got to change the, the laundry. That's intentional. Yes, I love it. Okay, all right. Love you. Still basking in the glory and greatness of the birthday balloons right here. In fact, I think we should just keep these for all of July because we got enough birthdays. These birthday balloons could get multi-use this month for sure. Thank you so much for all of the love and all of the birthday messages. It is like going nuts on Insta. I wish we had comments in the YouTube video. We had them like on one video one day and then they disappeared again. Definitely goes without saying, feeling the love for my birthday. Thank you guys so much for that. Makes celebrating that much more exciting, that much more epic. When we involve the full This Is How We Bingham family. Today, coming off of a beautiful day yesterday, it is a scorcher today in the 90s. Right, guys, you saw out there, Ernan is keep mowing that lawn. They don't have much lawn to mow, but when it's 90 degrees, can feel like a lot. Kids have got some friends coming over. They want to go on a fun scooter ride or something. Maybe go pick up a nice treat or a beverage at the gas station, something to cool off in this hot sun. I feel like it's the perfect day to go back to the pool, but we've been doing a lot of pool days, a lot of fun in the sun, so I think we're going to probably switch it up today. We are preparing for, as you saw, a 4th of July barbecue. Maybe if I can convince mom to once again do the two for one, we can vlog a little bit of that tomorrow for you guys on the actual 4th of July. Today is the third, but rep. In America, anyway. Mom's off doing some more errands. I don't even know what she's doing. She's been gone all morning. She's got so many things going on. We're gonna go ahead and lock things down here at the house and just enjoying the amazing continuation of the birthday weekend and this full birthday month in the Bingham house. As we said a moment ago, it is 90 plus degrees today. I just saw 95 and rising. Hot. It's hot out here. These crazy kids just went on like a bike scooter ride to the store, grabbed some drinks, came back. I actually rescued them halfway, picked them up in the truck because we are wanting to get out here in Ryler's freshly manicured lawn. Solid. Mm -hmm job, bro. Lawn looks fantastic. We wanted to get out here. We'll spot a shade before it disappears. I might even turn the table so we don't have any. So it can last shade. a little bit longer. Yeah. What we're doing today is we're going to be doing tie-dye shirts for the 4th of July. So mom got some fun white shirts. She got some socks. And then we've got red and blue tie-dye paint. We're going to tie-dye our 4th of July shirts this year. I think that'll be fun. I mean, we've always bought like the same ones. I thought tie-dye is so in right now. They're custom. They're unique. They're just you. No one else has that shirt. No. Like we always do. Many people do the uh, Old Navy, Target. We've we always done those, that. Yeah. And I love those. They're fantastic because you can get the entire family that match. five bucks. Still love those. To get our own custom PHWB exclusive tie-dye 4th of July shirts. We're building them in the backyard today, baby. Heck yeah, we are. So we did decide to move the table. Now everyone's in the shade. This is money. Mom, I know we've done this once before, so I built some confidence in myself and our abilities because I remember when we were building it, I was like, this is not going to turn out, and it did. I forgot the rubber bands. That's me. Oh, rubber bands. That's kind of a Sorry, key ingredient. Mom, give them the instructions. How do we tie-dye shirts? How do you make sure it turns out amazing? What do we do? Let me go get the rubber bands, and we'll start with that. <laughs> You're gonna give us some pointers on how to do this. Rye Guy recently for a school like team project, they tie-dyed a ton of stuff. So he's got some more recent experience maybe. Rye Guy, if mom messes up, you go ahead and tell us what you think we should do, okay? All right, mom, what do we do? First of all, you wanna wear gloves the entire time. Get your gardening gloves. Put on aprons, different designs. You can crumple it up and then put dye wherever. You can spin it, twirl it, whatever they call that. Spiral, right? Spiral. You can just put it like crew, it looks like he's doing. Kinda hard to explain. Put rubber bands right here. So we're gonna name these the twisty, do twisty, it, the like, spiral, and the scrunchy.
Easy as your spaghetti. We're gonna eat this after. Greg, I walk us through your process here because he just disappeared and got his shirt soaking wet. What's going on here, bud? So it was just easier. The last time we did it, like with our family, it took like an hour to get it good. There were still like white spots. So you like want with this white one, spots. it's red, white, and blue. Forgot the second color. Okay, anyways, now you twirl it up with a fork. This was your guy's hack. Okay, oh shoot. What if you poke a hole in it? Oh wow, look at that twirly. That is fantastic. Okay. Oh my Whoa. spiral fraction of love. Okay. Literally, the best thing about tie dye is you don't have to have skill. So yeah, honestly, the coolest part is you can do whatever you want. That's what I learned last time. I was like, mine is okay. not gonna turn out cool and no matter what if you dump ink on it and let it sit will turn out cool in case you guys are wondering we are not eating corn beans and pumpkin pie this is holding down tablecloth so it doesn't blow off oh. We're moving into the critical phase of dyeing. So there's the tying and the dyeing. They've done the tying. It's time for the dyeing. This is where it gets messy and fun. And you know what? Just get creative with it. Throw some splotches of ink in there. You got Graham kind of doing the dipsy dab over here. You got crew. I'm killing it. Crew's killing it. Literally. <laughs> but um, ching. Brad guy's still stuck on the tie part. Great idea getting them wet. How did you think of that? Genius, genius. Man, I'm glad you thought of that. That is a great hack for tie-dye. That's amazing. Way to go, mom, coming up with that idea. <laughs> I love tie dyeing and it's my favorite color. Don't know if it's color though, so. It's a combination of colors. Tie-dye is like a, a thing. Got some amazing so cloud cover coming in right now. It feels fantastic. Yeah, it the other thing, guys, is because we are doing like the Saturday Sunday, might jump in and show you guys a little bit of the fourth. You may be able to see the reveal of these tie dye shirts in the same vlog because you have to wait 24 hours. They just have to sit untouched for 24 hours, and you take off the rubber bands, you reveal the final product. I think we may be able to get that in this vlog before we have our barbecue tomorrow on the fourth. At least that's the plan anyway. That's why we're doing these. Here's the thing with tie-dye. Once you start, you can't stop. These kids are now breaking out new pairs of socks. Everybody's doing a second round of tie-dye. We're gonna run out of the ink here or the dye. So fun though. But this is so fun. Like what this a was fun like activity. Hard to find a tie-dye kit last year in 2020 because it's like everybody was doing tie-dye at home. What kind of things can you do at home? Well, yeah. you can tie-dye. And this is a lot of fun. And in the end, you've got My a new favorite thing. It is Brexy's favorite thing on planet Earth. And then when you're done, you've got like new apparel. You've got new socks and shirts that you can rock for a long time. Yeah, like we it's, still wear the tie-dye. So fun. I'm gonna go around and show everybody's finished product before the big reveal tomorrow. This is Brexy Doodles. I am loving it. A lot of great color changes throughout there. That's going to be unreal good. Reese's socks, dude, those are going to be so Jesus. money. Graham socks looking super good over there. And got another pair coming. That guy's like looking cool already. He hasn't even finished them yet. Dude, those look so legit. Creepy Doodle, show me your shirt. Oh, crew shirt right here. I think this is going to be really cool. He's got a nice cool fade at the end. Love that. He's got some smattered, spattered socks. Very cool. Who else we got? Oh, Ragai's main shirt right here. That's going to be unreal when we unpackage that. Easy, I think your shirt's going to be awesome. Awesome. Guys, come back tomorrow, which should be in today's vlog. So come back today for the end of the vlog. Stick around to see how these shirts and socks come out. Probably goes without saying, but a little warning parental advisory for all of you. This does make a ginormous mess. Yeah. So parents, be ready for that. Kids, have fun with that. <laughs> Hey, by the way, I'm coming with a new hashtag. It's hashtag sheesh beast. I know that was quick, but just like I mean, that, overnight, that 24 easy. hours later, look at how these turned out. Oh my goodness, these are insane. Look at these patterns. Look at that spiral up there on your neck. I, know, I love I it. I learned it from Rai Guy. Rai Guy's got off. this sick spiral there. Kruby Doo, I love this Kruby's red, white, and blue. so cool. Easy girl, I kind of like how yours has got a lot of white because it's got really fun colors all around it. Can I see the back too? The back is super cute. Look it's at that. Like, Look how that turned out. So and each fun. one individually, see? like unique. Everyone's is totally different styles. Look at this. This is in I stripes. The... Red, white, and blue. Guys. This is the most well, custom yeah. 4th of July look I've ever seen on you guys. And, and the socks. socks. Look, they did socks yeah, too. Oh, yeah, oh like shoes. my gosh, look at this. This is the finished product. We're trying to find a neighbor actually to take a picture right now before we start on our barbecue. But uh, this is the tie-dye look. Mine turned out a little turquoisey, I feel like, but. Brandon was like, oh, I just love this turquoise. I'm I'm like, I love tons this of this turquoise. <laughs> Mine could be like a cotton candy vibe, like any but, day. Like, the sleeves look so cool too because it's like that dark blue and red. But how rad is tie-dye? Every single one comes out with a distinctly different look, even just though we all like use the same person. colors. We're all individual and unique in their uh, own way. I love it. I love it. Even though we use the same kits, the same setup, the same backyard, every single shirt, totally different. So fun. Okay, so now we got someone to take our pick, and then the 4th of July barbecue can begin. Sheesh, please. Happy 4th of July!
So fireworks are banned this year because of the drought we're having. It's just too dry. Too dry. Tonight's so. a windy night, so all kinds of fireworks. Aerials, round fireworks, no open fires, nothing. So we're gonna be doing glow sticks and sparklers. Those are Mom, approved. Still fun and festive. And I think these kids Wait. have been getting the scooters ready with some red and blue lights for a little electric parade we might put on for the neighborhood. You guys wanna do that? Mm. I say we get decked out in glow sticks, get on our scooters and go for a ride. You are a freak. Oh, Hazy Girl, you're so fast. Lightning just came off the back of you. Oh my gosh. Woo! Go, America! Turn them over on this so way. this is this is the bone sticking out right there. I'm touching it. Don't touch it. It's just sticking out. Okay. 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 Hey, come here. Okay, you good, Dad? Right there. Give me some light. It's right there. Make okay. sure that's not a car. Oh, Turks is gonna suck. Hey. Okay. Let's just my arm, please. Okay. Let's just let's just. Do you, can you roll onto your back, Brandon? Go it's okay. Away don't from use it. your arm. Here, I'll hold your. I'll lift up your body. Okay. Move over this side. Okay. She's okay. She just stopped. She's okay. What do you want me to do? Do you we want me to can't. call the paramedics? No, we're still trying to decide. Make okay. sure these cars go around. I can bring around. your car to you and I'll run you right to the ER. I just don't know how to get up. I want to get up. I just don't know how. Can help I you can Dustin you. and I can help lift you up. Lift you up. Just lay on his back. Mom's okay. calling 911. Something this is Mindy Bingham. Okay. Oh, that actually smells. Okay. 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 I'm going to move Mindy my hand away from you. Better. Love you, Dad. Um, pushed way yeah, back you in. You know now. what? It's not even sticking out anymore. It's sunken back into where. And now that I laid down, it's back in. Keep you right there and lift up your head. About three minutes ago. I should like just go. Video, like, yeah. It's dumb to get picked up for a call. Uh, yeah, he's having a hard time breathing, but I think. It feels tight on my chest, but. It just feels tight on his chest. I just says. worry about you getting in the car. <laughs> you you okay? Uh, I'm, with you, I'm you. so sorry, I ran into you. But Wait, I okay. Is the ambulance coming? Yeah, she's good. She huh? didn't have a helmet on. Are you? Hey, come here. It's okay. I'm so, so you sorry. You don't need to be sad. I, yeah, like sometimes. I know so that's hard. okay. You know what? Sometimes we fall, but you got up. And Daddy was just chasing after you. Dad, what happened? I broke my collarbone. Great. It wasn't Easy, for helmets, go. but I hit my head so freaking hard. Like, you did? Yeah. Oh, just just like I hit my out. shoulder and that just immediately oh. gave way. And so then my head just like drilled it. And I just heard like this. Yeah, you certainly did. Ringing and pop. Did you crack it? You okay? Yeah, I'm good. What's up, everybody? There he is. We're back again. Oh. The ambulance, everyone. No, we're not enough fire. We're on, I had to provide my <laughs> yeah. own. I think it's a good thing because they're going to get you on the board. <laughs> my dad. How's it going? Good. Oh, hey, what's up, dude? It's like the collarbone was not a big deal. I just can't like move. Like every time I move, it just shifts and then it like pokes out my shoulder. And I just don't want to like make it worse. You ever had an injury there before? No, I've broken this one, but never over never here. That one. The Three questions to see how you're doing. What's your name? Package Brandon deal. Bingham. Head straight there. There you go. Hold it with your other hand. So you want to grab a train? Throw that on. I'm just gonna cut your shirt here. <laughs> got cool shirts though, they're matching. Hey, we oh, yeah, made these yesterday, but you just nice. wrecked it, so. That was good. <laughs> How do you feel set up? Do you feel light, light headed okay. at all? No, it's feeling pretty dizzy? good. Feel like you're gonna throw this up? It's numb, but. Is it gonna yeah. pop out of the skin? It'll, it'll just be there. Like I said, they're just gonna give him some medication and then you'll just see the doctor start moving around until it pops back in. If it's bad enough, he'll need surgery. I'll go from there. It's all gonna depend on the x ray, so. So we're gonna just put this on right here. Grab the other scissor for me and just cut. Just hold right there. I'm gonna cut the rest of your shirt right there. Sorry, your new tie-dye shirt's going away. I have to make a new one. Yeah. Doing all right, sitting up. This looks pretty sick right here. Hey. I don't know. We can just drive there. It's fine. Is it jacked up? Mm -hmm. Kind of, yeah. How's that look, right, guy? Sure. <laughs> That's a good thumbnail right there. My sick oh, rape gosh. glow sticks. Is my fourth Give of this July. to the kids. Thank kids. you. Is that more of a dislocation? Could it be maybe? Because you can just the way that it's sitting. Pop that back in, uh, right? I swear my leg didn't hurt this bad. Shorter. What? So what we're gonna do here? I think it's because I felt it's it up top. Poking. I just keep waiting so for it to just tight. shoot out there. Yeah. Oh whoa! I can I see it. It's really tight. Sometimes it's harder if you see it. You'll see the picture. That's when you get lightheaded. Yeah, yeah. You'll see the video picture. Okay. Let's help you up. Do you have your car nearby? Is that the direction you'd like to go? Or is yeah. that? Yeah, let's try that. Let's go. Okay. If, if you I can drive it, it's over. very close We're not by. walking very far. You got this, Dad. Bingham, B I N G H A U. Medical problems, diabetes, anything like that. Pump up. 
slow, deep breaths. Is this possible to stand up or not? Oh, let's just hold on one more second. The car's almost here and then with that blood pressure going. Oh, nice. That's cool. I've never done that before. Make sure you don't yeah, pass out or anything. Uh, so embarrassing. Okay. <laughs> Weird. You okay? Just say shirt jump out. You got any questions for us? No, thank you guys so much. Just call the hospital, just give me a heads up, you're coming. Okay. I'm gonna go park the car, I'll be back. Okay. I'll thumbs up with this hand, but I only got this one that works. <laughs> it's better now. Okay, catching up to speed. That was probably a little random. Brandon was on his one wheel. Hazy abruptly stopped, and so he tried to stop quickly, fell and tumbled right over her, landed on his shoulder, hit his head really hard. We think he broke his collarbone. I'm walking in right now to admit him to the ER. I don't think that's normal. Is that, does that look right? Don't show that one, that's been broken. Sure that doesn't. one's wrong too. <laughs> we just got all checked in. What are you doing? Guys, this is so awkward. Like I was doing good with the whole cut my shirt off thing till I walked into a room full of people. Like <laughs> some of them are in Sunday dress and I'm just chilling with my shirt. There's missionaries here at ER. <laughs> it doesn't wonderful. look super bad. I was gonna give you guys a little warning. This is the collarbone sticking out right there, not where it's supposed to be. Right here, he's not supposed to have that bump right there. He's already broken this one just at a different angle. And okay, so it's actually had a though. funny slant, that Isn't one. Isn't weird? Isn't this your... Like this yeah, so it so snapped why is it up there? Because it is now poking up over there. But see, when Crew did his, his just, t I won't touch Crew's just tented right there. I guess I haven't seen Crew's collarbone video. Yeah, that's I don't know why thing. it's sticking up so far back there. Because when I fell, it was coming out my back. I could feel it through the back. Oh and gosh. that's what was grossing everybody out when they pulled my shirt back. They were like, oh shoot, call the ambulance. Whenever I saw it, I looked up to Craig and I was like, oh my gosh, it's so bad. They just x-rayed me and then the clavicle looks like it's all in one piece. It just separated So that is my collarbone poking out, but it's supposed to be tucked into my shoulder And it maybe just came out all that equals they just got to put it back in and I could be good to go Right. Oh, yeah, that sounds like a walk in the park. She's like, Let's pull your shoulder out pop it back in I'm like no guys that could be huge break for us There's so many stories we need to tell you once we leave here. We just got in trouble for videos. So we're gonna put the camera Yeah, on, don't but... don't say break either <laughs> <laughs> As soon as we get out of here so many stories to tell you about this fall that like could have been so much worse You guys so much worse <laughs> they gave us the wrong way now. We just got out of the hospital. This You're not is not tall enough to get my whole this is, self I know, I'm trying to hold my purse and the Guys, camera look and everything. At, take a good look at that knob right there. That is permanent. Welcome to the new Brandon Bingham. That's gonna be staying there. Do you wanna explain I was gonna say, should we do here it here or, and now? I feel like we should go home, but you guys, we are just leaving the emergency room. Brandon's walking out. Let me see if I can out. still hold it, let me just try. Oh, you can hold it with your left hand. Oh, look at that, yeah. So, oh, fireworks. Happy 4th, everyone, by the way. This has been a lot of fun hanging out with you today. Technically, it's the 5th. Oh, yeah, it is. Dang it, it's like one in the morning, so <laughs> I'm tired. The game is pain meds in there so I'm also a little bit loose but I don't want to leave people stringing along too long wasn't broken did we mention this yet I don't think we've meant no I don't know so I don't <laughs> been a long night you guys it is not broken it is what they call a stage three separation AC joint separation AC joints that will show you the x-ray it is gnarly my collarbone instead of snapping just completely came out from the shoulder and is sticking out to the side and I can have surgery to put it back in he could pop it in but it'll just keep popping out it won't stay yeah, in anymore which is not awesome. and so I can have surgery that would permanently put it back so they would do something to kind of fuse that together. Pretty long recovery from that. Kind of a big deal. We or, are also leaving for Turks and Caicos in 10 days and so... I don't really want to go into surgery before that. Or alternative is just let it fuse back together like that. It's a cosmetic thing. It just kind of looks weird sticking up. But it is okay to heal that way functionality wise. He said if I like play professional sports and needed it to pitch or throw a football and I says but I do hold a camera in my right hand every day. So I may need, need the surgery. We need to see an orthopedic surgeon. That's something they recommended we go do. So yeah they gave us an orthopedic to surgeon to check out. So we're doing that for sure and then he will kind of walk me through the pros and cons and just based on this one stage three is by the, the way the worst so one is like kind of up two is like halfway out and three is like completely, completely out it and is said, out this injury hurts as much if not more than a broken call guys i was feeling a little bit guilty that we went through all of that and then they're just like yep put a sling on it here's some pain meds and go home and i was telling them i was like wait nothing's broken my diagnosis is go home and let it heal he's like no let me tell you stage three separation is as painful if not more painful than any shoulder injury you can get i said yeah but i've seen the rock just pop it on the side of a truck and then go back Those to work actors, honey. <laughs> so anyways i just having a hard time breathing Wait, all night help you that's here. getting a little bit heavy you hold it so high i don't know how you do that anyways so we're gonna go get you in bed but you guys go, well sort of i gotta go home and edit this yeah that's right people yeah, we do it for the vlog yeah, brandon does that but you guys we're gonna say goodbye right now Wait, should we yes did we i should. give them all the info is that everything i think that's everything if not we will give you the rest of the updates tomorrow so make sure you're subscribed make sure you come back because we're going to cowabunga bay we tomorrow love you baby. guys and Woo! we hope everyone had a happy and fun and safe fourth better than ours we'll see you tomorrow love you bye Cheese beans. Happy Fourth of July.
does that look, right, guy? Oh, That's a good thumbnail, right there. Dad, what happened? I broke my collarbone.